Hey guys, Hal and Sarge again. You know, I've just been kind of pondering something. You know, when Obama was in office, the big scare was that Obama was going to come take your guns, that the Democrats were going to pass a bill to ban the AR-15s, the 30-round magazines. Anyway, then Hillary comes along. And the big scare was that if Hillary wins the election, that she's going to take everything. So, it seems the Democrats are tied into every gun scare that there is. And what I'm getting to is now we have a president who is pro-Second Amendment and has close ties to the NRA. But all of a sudden, Democrats are hollering gun control again. And I'm wondering, is it possible, do you honestly believe that there are any Southern Democrats who hold office who aren't getting money from gun manufacturers? I mean, think about it. It wouldn't be hard to do through a PAC or through a third party. And the reason I say that is because Republicans never call for gun control. It's always the Democrats calling for gun control. So when Republicans have the reins, gun prices stay pretty stagnant. They don't go up, they don't go down, they just kind of stay where they are. But then the Democrats are the ones who start hollering gun control. Now they're trying to pass a bill to ban all semi-automatic weapons, which would include your SIGs, your Glock, Smith & Wesson, Ruger, all the semi-auto pistols, Kimbers, Desert Eagles, so a ban on all semi-automatic weapons would mean pistols also. But it just seems to me that everyone gives the Republicans nine kinds of hell because they're sponsored by the NRA. But who is it that's pushing the Democrats to holler gun control? Who is it that's funding Democrats who has a vested interest in the rising of gun prices, ammunition prices, who? Your gun manufacturers. So we need to research a little bit, and we need to find out if any of these gun manufacturers are actually supporting Democratic candidates through backdoor channels. Again, through political PACs, through third-party donations, because it seems that Democrats want gun prices to go up because they know they'll never take our Second Amendment. But if they start hollering gun control, if they start hollering about banning weapons, that five or six hundred dollar AR-15 goes to about twelve to fifteen hundred. Just imagine if they keep pushing this, guys. When you go to your local gun store, how much a Glock's going to cost you, or a Sig, or a Ruger, or Smith and Wesson. Just imagine how much that semi-automatic pistol that you could buy for anywhere from. $289 to $600 to, you know where I'm going with this. Imagine what the prices would be as soon as they start really pushing this. So, are gun manufacturers supporting Democratic candidates through backdoor channels? Everyone knows the NRA supports Republican candidates. That's, that's public record. That's all the hell they talk about when they talk about it. Is this Republican gets this much money from the NRA? That Republican gets this much money from the NRA? But the Republicans and the NRA never call for gun control. It's the Democrats who call for gun control. So again, we need to look into it. Someone uh, smarter than me, which probably wouldn't take a lot, needs to look into this and see, are gun manufacturers actually secretly behind closed doors supporting these Democratic candidates so when they holler gun control, gun prices will go through the roof? Because again, guys, just like stop buying 22 ammo, once it becomes a norm, we may never get it back down to where it was. Are gun manufacturers financially supporting and financially motivating 
Democrats and liberals to holler for gun control. It could be possible. But that's just my opinion. You can take it with a grain of salt. This is Howlin' Sarge. I'm out.